Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 3rd of October 1993, the Black Hawk Down incident, otherwise known as the Battle of Mogadishu, began. The vacuum of power that resulted from the overthrow of Somali President Mohamed Siad Barre in January 1991 led to the emergence of armed factions that competed for control of the country. By September, bitter fighting had broken out in the capital Mogadishu that quickly spread across the country and destroyed Somalia's agriculture. As starvation took hold, international aid shipments were stolen by the warring clans who used it to pay for weapons. Following a ceasefire in July 1992, the United Nations sent observers to monitor food distribution, and the following month, America bolstered this with military convoys. Nevertheless, it was clear that a larger military operation was necessary to stop the death and displacement of the Somali people. Operation Restore Hope began in December, and by March, the Unified Task Force had helped to improve the delivery of aid. Although progress was made towards restoring peace and democracy, the faction led by Mohamed Farah Adid began to broadcast anti-UN propaganda and killed 24 Pakistani soldiers. Meanwhile, a US-led attack on a house where Adid was believed to be resulted in the deaths of over 50 Somalis and consolidated local opposition against the United States. Despite a $25,000 reward being offered for Adid's arrest, the warlord remained at large and attacks on UN forces continued. Eventually, on the 3rd of October 1993, a special task force of the elite Delta Force and US Army Rangers launched an assault on two of Adid's lieutenants. During the operation, two Black Hawk helicopters were shot down and 19 Americans lost their lives while at least 200 Somali militiamen were killed, as well as hundreds of civilians. <laughs>